I have said before uh, during the examples that all functions, uh, not all functions need a return statement. But what I meant is that not all of them need uh, need to be uh, the return statement need to be mentioned, but all of them has a return statement hidden or shown. So if you write the return statement is shown and you're calling the return statement, but if you're not doing it, it is still existing. The Python will automatically add up that return statement, and that return statement will have a null value or a non-value, which means that it, it is returning nothing. Or, in other words, that re, uh, nothing is equal to false, means it's not true. So we could use that function as a, a Boolean check. For example, if we do an if statement and we say, like, if uh, this is uh, true, then re uh, return it. If not, then don't return anything. So as you can see, that return statement can you be used in different ways. So example four here will give us an example of, uh, no, this is the same example we have done before, but uh, with, this, uh, with the only exception here that, let me open uh, example four for you. Okay, so here we go. We have the same function as before, it's a definition, hello word, and it prints hello word, but this time we have no loop. So basically, we take x variable, it will, uh, has, it will, uh, it will take hello word as uh, a function, uh, and then print x. So let's see what happens here. As you can see, hello word here is uh, printed, and then none. So why do we have two prints? We only call print one time. No, in fact, we called it two times. As you can see here, we're calling hello word, and then inside hello word, we have a print, so it will print hello word, and then it will print x. And since x return, uh, this function returns nothing, so x receives nothing, and then here we have none, which means nothing or null, or whatever you would like to call it. So back to the slides. Here we will be talking about overloading functions and default values. So basically, functions in Python they don't overload, unlike C++ and other languages, where you have you, you could have different types of arguments and then you can have the same name for that uh, function. But in this case, uh, I mean in Python, you, we could not, we cannot do this. So Python has a, uh, a strong uh, policy for naming. Uh, functions and it sticks to only one name per function. Now we have an example. So uh, let me open uh, spider for you. Here we go. File open example five. Okay, so we have a function that has takes three inputs. As you can see here, a B and C. Uh, so I forgot to mention, I forgot to talk about default values. So in this case, we're uh, giving B a default value, which is three, and then C another default value, which is hello, and then return A plus B. So as you can see here, this function is not using C uh, argument. So sometimes you can, I mean, if you want, it is not, uh, it is not, obviously it's not uh, efficient, because we're not using C, but if you want, you can do that. So uh, here we're calling, uh, we're giving a, uh, we're calling it a function my font, and then we're giving a, uh, we're giving it arguments as five, three, and hello. So as you can see, three is already by default, so it doesn't matter, and hello is also by default. So this function should return what is uh, something like five plus three, which is, will be eight, and then it will print eight on our console. B here, we're doing the same thing, but this time we're not giving it hello as an argument. So, uh, but it will still be equal to hello because we're, uh, hello is by default equal, uh, the C is by default equal to hello. So if we print, it will also print eight. Now, the third uh, time we call my fun function, we only call it with five, and this time without giving it B. So this time it it was only given eight, and.